I also feel uh, incredible empathy because there's also something about these guys touching the sun. So like, and, and hear me out here. So like, there is something about like the success we've had and y- you know, it's, but like, I've never, maybe you've been on the cover of Rolling Stone. I've never been on the cover of Rolling Stone. Like I used to always think that I wanted that, but like there's part of the, and I'm talking about this level of success, <laughs> like the Letterman, John Stewart, Chappelle, um, uh, Kobe, like I think that level of where you touch the sun, I think that's really hard to 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 go to keep some sense of normal. So like so like Johnny Manziel, it's like he obviously had problems, but he touched the sun, and so then it's like you might as well be Mariah Carey when you throw like when we throw a fit in the CVS, people are like, oh, that, oh, that guy's a comedian. He's spazzing out, or you know, he's like, doing a bit. You know what I mean? But like when Mariah Carey loses her shit, she's so fucking famous that people are like, either they ascribe it as she's a diva or she's having a meltdown. But am I making sense about the people that like if you get so famous? I think you get addicted to that level of fame. That's where I think that people, like we, you know, stand-up comedians have, uh, you know, we we have creative fulfillment on our terms. It's, you know, people have to show up. But like, even if like half as many people went to our shows next year as went this year, we'd still get that fulfillment. But if people... What I'm saying is if you were as... <laughs> am I making sense? I think you've been out in that garden a little too long with the fucking... So I don't even know where you're going. We were talking football and you're like, you know, fucking Mariah Carey. No, 